When you play catch, your throwing partner should be uncomfortable. Not because you're throwing 100 miles an hour from 45 feet away, but because the movement of the ball, the angle of the ball is not comfortable. Not as comfortable as up here. We all want this, but this is how we get better. And you notice when you set your eyes, how much more did that improve your throws? So a lot, very good. The thing that I know is gonna happen if you don't take action steps is you're gonna go to practice later, you're gonna go in the backyard later, and you're gonna go right back to the old habits. So this is where we need ourselves to remind us and we need each other. We need each other. You should always be playing catch with a pitcher and talk to each other, work together so we can become more consistent, right? Teams that win, have a strong staff, not a strong individual, correct? So now we go into flat ground. Again, as a pitcher, you may not like to catch, you may be uncomfortable with it, so be it. You gotta do it. We're gonna get down and we're gonna be a good catcher for our partner. Now, yes, this is more comfortable for me, but I'm gonna have that glove right below my knees in between. And if I wanna move around, I'm gonna move, but I'm gonna set up again. As a pitcher, very simple. Attack the glove with your eyes. Let your eyes be the most aggressive thing through the target. Because if my eyes stay aggressive through the target, then what happens is everything else will follow. So think of your eyes as the leader, the captain. Every other part of your body, including your fingers at release, will follow the eyes. Make sense? So if we keep our eyes going through, we go through, and that's when we get our good results. Any questions on that? Then make sure you take action steps to remind yourself of that. Don't just get up there and throw the ball, ever. Because a habit starts with one, and then it's followed by another, and another. And before you know it, you have a habit that you don't even realize. Follow? All right, so back to our spots. Guys down there will pitch first. Guys here, toss your balls, you don't need them. Toss them back. Nice. Nice, very good. Usually the third pitch is where our focus starts to go back the other way, passive. It seems like we can only stay active for like two or three times. But that's not how it really works. One pitch at a time, right? So if we take the word one and we take the words at a time and we keep those, then all you gotta do is just keep replacing it. One pitch at a time. One active focus at a time. One keep my eyes through the target at a time. That's a lot easier to handle. And before you know it, you're 65 pitches in and you just finished the, the sixth inning, right? So let's make sure we're actively staying focused. So far, great job. Was that two seam? Two seam? Excellent, excellent. Those are two of the best pitches I've seen you guys throw, I don't know how long. Okay, two things, number one. Guys, remember this. What did we say, what did we say should be the most aggressive thing through the target? Our eyes. So when I come set, should my eyes go to the ground? No, they should stay aggressive through the target when I come set. Forget about checking runners right now. But I come set, my eyes stay through the target. Okay, so start with that, go ahead. Where'd you just look? Down, so hold on. For, guys, wait up, just watch, let's watch him because we learn from each other. Get your eyes aggressive through his glove right now, your eyes. Now keep them, come set. Now keep the eyes and just drop your elbows, okay? Okay, now you had the move, no, don't worry about where the hand went, you had the movement, right? You had the movement, repeat it. And after two or three throws, we should start seeing that ball come back into the zone. Because what happens is when we make an adjustment, our brain will start to fix other things at the same time. So go ahead, aggressive eyes, start over, come set. Aggressive eyes, loose elbows. There you go, see how it's starting to come back now? Much better, go ahead. Two more and we're switching. Don't slow yourself down, right? Stay aggressive through the glove with the eyes. 
Good. Very good. Stay loose, fast through the glove. Very good. Switch. Look, see where your body went? So your eyes went this way, right? Which forced your hand to have to drag behind. Keep your eyes staying through the target. Look at This is me looking at the target, but see how I'm out of the corners of my eyes now? Keep your eyes straight through. Still off to the side, right? So if you have to, slow down the intensity and force the eyes to stay still. Very good, Ryan. Very good. Good feedback right there. Good job. Okay, that's better. Again, slow down the intensity so you can force the result. How do you feel? No problems? Good. Stay through that target. Hey, you're, you're still going so fast, it's gonna be hard to make any changes. Keep your eyes still and whatever speed you have to go at. Guys, when we do flat ground, you notice I don't tell you what speed to go at. We're purposely in flat ground, we're trying to do something with our bodies so that when I get in the game, when I get on the game mound, I don't have to think about my body at all. So in flat ground, the speed you should go at is whatever speed you can still manage that physical adjustment. So right now, if I have to keep my eyes still, then I'll go at a speed where I can make sure my eyes stay still. If that's 70%, fine, 50%, fine. 30%, I don't care. You have to make the correction so that it can become a habit and a new feeling, right? Go ahead, slow it down, keep your eyes. It's a better result. You determine how successful your eyes were on that one. If you don't think your eyes were what they needed to be, start by slowing it down as well. Nice job, great pitch. Hey, I don't know, did you, I don't know how active your focus was there. Because I watched some of your earlier throws, you definitely came set. There was a difference in how your eyes were and the time you took. That one felt rushed. It felt like, not that you don't care, but it felt like you were just like, ah, whatever, we're good. Actively focus every single time. Actively pick that spot and keep your eyes through it. Two more each. Good job. That was the best one your eyes were. Good, see how your body responds? Good. For some guys, they're able to make the correction in here with the throws. For some guys, it gets tough. And we don't know which adjustment you're going to cling to quicker than others. You may grab that curveball and be like, oh wow, easy. And another guy struggles. He may say the eyes, wow, that's pretty simple. And it's like, woof, I'm struggling with it. And that's where home comes in, okay? You put the work in at home to make your training session, your practice better, which will then make your game better. So we want to work from the ground up. The, when it comes to development, the ground starts at home, right? Obviously, once you learn. So you learn in here, now the development starts. It starts at home, you bring it back in here, and we'll bring it to the game. But if you don't do anything at home, your development is cut off. You can come in here all the time, but you're going to keep learning different things. Nothing's going to get better. So at home, what you can do for this is you can even just set your feet up, right? We make that T. So we have our, our back foot inside facing the target. We make our front foot into that T. I separate just a little bit, not too far. I can use the towel if I want, or I can just go slow with my body. But let's do it in a mirror. Let's do it in a mirror so I can lock onto my own eyes and I can separate and keep my eyes still. Locking into that stare. And when you, when you want to make a physical change, you want to exaggerate. So even exaggerating me holding that spot with my eyes, that's how I build a positive habit. Make sense? Your grips. You should have a baseball around the house, in the car always have a ball in your hands. So I'm sitting in the car, talking mom or dad or whoever, listening to some music, and I got a ball in my hand, moving it around, going to my grips, my pressure. Move it around, going to my grips. 
That way nothing ever feels uncomfortable in your hand. At first you're going to want to check it, make sure everything looks good, but after a while you won't even have to look, you'll just know. There never comes a point where you graduate from developing, okay? Because last thing I'll say is your body is like an instrument. An instrument, no matter how expensive and high quality it is, has to be tuned. And doing things like this is basically staying in tune. Make sense? Questions? Nothing? If something pops up later, text me. All right? Nice job. Bring your towels with you every time. Good job. You're welcome. Good work.